So this question looks like it's just going to be a very straightforward, simplify question. It's a single line. Um, we have this single expression here. So this is definitely simplify. And there's two ways to really do this. One way is that you actually recall the traditional way to answer this. And I'll just write this down so we can really see what's happening here. So the way that we should mathematically treat this is I can almost look at these two things as separate, right? The 4.8 divided by 1.6 and the 10 to the negative 7th divided by 10 to the negative 11th. So in your calculator, if you divide 4.8 divided by 1.6, what you'll find is that that is 3. Okay, so even just knowing that, that crosses out D and E because those have 3.2 as that first number. Now, the difference here is when I divide um, numbers that have an exponent, if the bases are the same, which they are, they're both 10, that base remains the same. And what I do with the exponents is I subtract the exponents, right? So negative 7 minus negative 11, which turns into negative 7 plus 11, which is equal to 4. So my answer should be 3 times 10 to the fourth power. And therefore, the answer should be choice A. Now, that is a good way to do it. That is how we are taught in school to do it. So hopefully you remember how to do that or this is a good review for you to do that. Now, if you had no idea, no recollection of how to do that, however, um, on the test that you answered or on future tests, another way to solve this is through just using your calculator. So if you were to type in your calculator, right, 4.8 times 10 to the negative 7th, you would get, you know, some decimal 0, 0.00, and it keeps going on. You have 4.8 down here. And then if you were to divide that value by the 1.6 times 10 to the negative 11th, again, that would look like a 0, 0.0 with a lot of zeros here, and then a 1.6. When you divide that, you're going to get basically this number. Right, you're going to get 30,000. And all you, would take, all you would do with that number in your calculator is say, well, which one of the values in my answer choices is equivalent to the 30,000? Maybe you have a function on your calculator that can turn this into scientific notation. Right, So you can just punch that button in and it would turn it into this. But if not, you'd just be looking at which one of these answers is 30,000 and think that becomes very obvious. Because these are negative exponents, which means they're going to, um, they're not going to be 30,000. And these have 3.2 in front. So those are already crossed out for that reason. So once again, we, re we confirm in another way that choice A is the best answer.